Hi, I am here at ASCO 2019 in Chicago. I will be talking about the study that we will be presenting. It's a importance of the treatment uh, intention using the MM profiler with its 92 gene profile. So 92 gene profile, SKY92 is, has been shown to be prognostic uh, for overall survival and uh, progression free survival in multiple myeloma patients. And we have a data, a robust data with that. So using this 92 gene profile, SKY92, we want to see what is the impact of the, um, the profiler on the treatment intentions uh, with the physicians of newly diagnosed multiple myeloma patients. So in this study, we're going to be, we used uh, about uh, um, all the patients with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma, and they're going to start the treatment with the IMID and the PI-based treatment, and they should be have started treatment within eight weeks of um, uh, the enrollment. So, so far, we have uh, 58 patients enrolled in this, um, in this study. And in that study, what we found out is that there were about 31 high-risk patients based on the clinical pathological characteristics, that is the standard, uh, you know, cytogenetics and the ISS staging and all those. And the 27 patients were classified in the standard risk. Now, after using the MM profiler, we found that 13 out of those 31 high-risk patients were still considered as a high risk. And out of 13 patients, six, six providers said that helped in make the decision in terms of intentional treatment. What about, uh, whereas in, five, in the remaining seven, uh, seven providers, uh, the, it really didn't help because they thought it was a high risk and they continued to manage it as high risk. Whereas in, um, in 18 standard risk patients after Sky, uh, MM Profiler, 14 uh, providers thought that that can help them um, in terms of the management, whereas uh, four uh, providers said that it didn't help because they initially considered it as a high risk and they will continue to treat it as a high risk uh, myeloma. Now, in terms of the standard risk patients, uh, which are 27 in number, eight patients were classified as high risk with this MM profiler, and out of the eight patients, seven providers thought that they helped in the management of those patients, whereas one uh, didn't think it helped them. And in, in 19 standard risk patients, uh, nine patients thought, uh, nine providers thought that they helped them in management of uh, in their treatment intention, whereas 10 said it didn't help because they thought it was a, uh, they, they, it was a, st it was a standard risk, and then continued to treat as a standard risk. So. Before uh, the MM profiler, the impact of um, the on risk assessment was about 50, 55% in treatment intention, and after it was 91%. So for newly diagnosed, diagnosed multiple myeloma patients, the MM profiler was helpful in confirming the, or in helping the treatment intention in 36% of newly diagnosed patients, and the remaining 15 patients, it was uh, confirmatory of what they wanted to do. And then the final assessment of treatment intention was about 91%. So. Uh, in, uh, we are in, uh, we're ongoing um, enrollment in the studies and the EHA, we have a more updated version, uh, the up updated version of the study will be presented. So um, what uh, we found out is that uh, the Sky Profiler, the using the 90, 92 gene MM Sky Profiler, uh, we, we are able to help the physician in terms of the treatment intention of what kind of treatment they would like to offer to the patient and what is the risk status of these patients.